There are habits that rich people has that poor people actually lack of. And in this specific video, I'm going to talk about three different habits that rich people have that you should have too. Hi everyone, this is Christian here on YouTube and welcome to a brand new video for the channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the three habits that rich people have and that you should have as well. But hey, if you're new to my channel and you're into binary options, forex trading, crypto trading, or any type of making money online, then this channel is for you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below and activate the notifications bell icon so that you get a notification of every new video that I upload. With that being said, let's jump into the video. So we're gonna start fast as I don't wanna keep this video that long for you. The habit number one that rich people have is that we count our money. And what I mean by counting our money is always paying attention to our bank statements. One of the things that a lot of people don't do, and uh, that's the reason why they end up with no money at the end of the month, is because they don't actually count their money on a daily basis. So what they do is that they get a paycheck on Friday or in the 15th or the 30th, and they start spending money. They don't actually have a full control of their expenses, and they don't have a full control of what is left over into their accounts. In my specific case, I have an Excel Google Drive sheet where I control all of my money and where I actually keep track of all of the expenses that I'm actually having. So what I do is that I put in there all the monthly payments that I have to make, all the uh, extra payments that I make, I don't know, the travel tickets, the hotel reservations, if I have, if I buy something, a car, whatever, I actually put it in there and I always match the actual amount that I should have in my bank account with that Excel sheet. And it always, always is the same. In addition, obviously at this specific point, I do have an account that, that actually takes care of my finances and a general idea, taxes, tax reducing, and so on. But my point is that a lot of people or the majority, 95 of people don't even count how much money they have left in their account. And you have to have control over that, okay? So if you wanna have this habit, what I recommend you to do is starting out today, go ahead and download your bank statement. See how much money you have, order, I don't know, organize some sort of Excel sheet where you can actually have control and put in there every expense that you have. Doesn't matter if it's $1, 100, or $10,000. What you have to have is a control and that habit is going to be improving over time. And at the end of the, uh, the day, you're going to be better at organizing your money. So that's super, super important. Number two habit that rich people have is that they pay themselves first, but don't get me wrong. This means invest money. Now, when I say invest, uh, pay myself first, for instance, in one of my companies, I haven't really touched money at all for the past two years. Okay. Even the dividends, I don't touch that money. And the reason why is because when I say pay myself, that doesn't mean putting myself a salary or a, ch a paycheck of 50 grand while other uh, like the rest of the people are making two grand does that make sense because i've seen a lot of people do this they put like a hardware store for instance we're talking about small businesses as an example right they put a hardware store or a restaurant and what they do is they, they actually start taking payments out of their uh, monthly income or or revenue from the company and there's the, they start spending it on a bigger house a uh bigger car uh goodies better clothing a watch glasses, the Gucci stuff, right? I'm not saying don't buy it. I'm just saying they actually are wasting that money. What I mean with paying myself first, I mean, I take the money that I actually made as a profit and reinvest it in something that is going to bring profit to me. So just to give you an example, one thing that you can do to invest money is actually getting education. So whenever I actually get money, obviously right now it's not like that because I don't even, I mean, I don't really have to wait for money to come in. I, already, I always have money into my bank account. But when I got my money back then, uh, I don't know, 2017, 16, when I had not that much money, what I did is buy a bunch of books. I really wanted to learn and get better at business. So what I did is bought a bunch of books 
and that was investing in myself. Then I obviously read those books and got better and made more money and so on and so on and so on. Nowadays, I actually look for different investments such as uh, cryptocurrencies, for instance. I buy more Bitcoin. Uh, I invest in real estate. I invest on a new business. I actually get this new thing going on. I actually do loans to people and get interest in return. Does that make sense? So I actually get that money and invest it. Okay. So the point of investing or getting paid yourself is actually putting the money where it's really important and where it's going to produce you more money. It doesn't mean go ahead and waste it. Okay. So that's super important. That's a habit. Whenever you actually got the profit, get it and reinvest it. It could be in the exact same business or it can be in another business that you have, but you have to reinvest that money. So hopefully that makes sense. Habit number three that rich people have is they always are improving their earning ability. Now, there's one advice that I actually got in one of the oldest videos that I've watched in regards to business, and it was, don't waste your time doing 10 hour, uh, $10 hour job or something like that. This basically means don't go ahead and do your laundry. Don't go ahead and clean your house. Don't go ahead and wash your car. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying don't waste your time on $10 hour jobs. I have people that do all of those stuff for me. Everything, all of the, the things that don't make me money, someone else do it for me and I pay them to do that. What I focus on is on the things that make me most money. So what I do is that I invest my time in education. I invest my time in producing. I invest my time on making YouTube videos. I invest my time on getting better at trading. I invest my time on learning a new skill. I invest my time in creating this and this and this business. So I'm always improving my earning ability, okay? So what happens or the result of this habit is that there's gonna be a moment when, I don't know, a business stops working, but you're so good at the earning ability that you already are creating sources of income somewhere else, okay? Or your business is, I don't know, having some issues financially, but you're so good at the earning ability that you get it up immediately fast and you scale up your business, okay? So super important that you actually focus on the earning ability and improving it all the time if you want to be rich, okay? So these are the three habits that rich people have. Hopefully this video helps you guys out in your business journey if you wanna be rich and I'm assuming you want to because you're in this YouTube channel. So hopefully this video helps you guys out to get there. Hey, if you enjoy the content of this video, make sure you smash the like button to support this YouTube channel. And more importantly, if you guys have any questions or comments to share, you can always use the comment section below and my team will be happy to reply to you. And thank you for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.